Hey everybody, it's Emily the Crazy Worm Lady. I am here today with our to blend or not to blend bins. These are red wigglers. And this is our dowel, so this would have been our frozen food. But now that I'm thinking about it, I'm pretty sure I fed over here on the right and not the middle. I'm telling you guys, I'm running so many systems, I can never remember what I'm doing. So, I see signs of carrots. So, up here, this would be the unfrozen, so the fresh. Fresh blended carrots. Check that out. They are getting into that really well. Uh, I'm impressed. So I'm going to bury them up a little bit here. And down here would be um, our frozen blended carrots. Listen closely, guys. Turn up your sound. You can hear these guys working. It's so cool. Loaded. I mean, absolutely loaded. Couldn't ask for better results than that. Got a hitchhiker on my hand. See that bulging clitellum? That's a good indication of a red wiggler versus a blue worm. Oh, there's a little beetle hanging out too. But um, when that clitellum is bulging, that tells you it is a red wiggler along with that striping that you see. The um, blue worms, which I also have a good number of, they don't have that bulging clitellum and they don't have the striping quite the way these guys do. Sometimes you can't even notice striping at all. Okay, I'm gonna bury this back up. We will be adding a new feeding today, um, but let's first go take a peek at the whole scrap bin. Have a few little climbers in here. We had a bunch of storms yesterday. These blue worms are a little bit sensitive to the barometric pressure changes and sometimes they just go climbing a little bit, not out of the bin, just usually up the sides. So down here's our dowel. So this is our uh, frozen whole carrots. And worms are all over it inside this tin. I'm even having trouble getting them all out of here. But again, they're all over it. You can see that striping on those red wigglers. They're getting along real well. So do the same thing here. Let me bury these guys up real good so they can finish their work. And over here would be our unfrozen or fresh carrots. Interesting, right? One worm. Still a ton of bedding. And this is what I found with some of these root vegetables. If they're not frozen first, 
or chopped up or something to kind of help get the microbial activity going, they just take so much longer to break down. So another win for the blending and freezing for sure. So let's get some food for these guys. I think um, we're going to try something else a little interesting today. See, they're more interested in this leftover piece of uh, watermelon than they are the carrots because the carrots just aren't breaking down just yet. If you remember, I, I put a piece of watermelon in both of these these bins. Um, but yeah, I have some cabbage today. And cabbage is another one of those vegetables that takes forever to break down in a bin. So let's test the whole freezing and um, chopping up and see what type of a difference it makes as opposed to a big uh, fresh lump of it. Okay, so I put some bedding in here. And this is the whole scrap bin again. Um, our two tins are in place. I'll put plenty of crushed eggshell here. Our dowel is down here, so this will be our frozen piece of cabbage. Again, this is the whole scrap. And then our fresh piece of cabbage will be down here. So, bury this back up. Definitely want to bury foods like cabbage. They will stink something terrible breaking down. So I used this food because I happened to have it and it had gone bad. But um, in general, I try to avoid feeding cabbage to my worms because of the smell. I just grabbed that piece of watermelon. Well, that'll give them a jump start over to that section. So everything nice and buried up here. And I'm just going to lay the rags across the top and we will feed up the blended bin. Okay guys, so same thing over here. Um, bedding, eggshell, down here is with our, where our frozen food will be, up here is where our fresh food will be. So that's the fresh stuff. Again, not really blended, just chopped up pretty well. Leave all that there, and then the frozen. There we go. That's the frozen stuff that has been thawed, of course. And we're gonna leave these guys to it. So same deal, bury them up real good. Try to avoid any smells. Again, I think I grabbed that, yep, watermelon. Can't say it's not going to be even then. Both of the bins got a little head start with the watermelon piece being moved over there. So I will just bury everything up, cover the bin with the rags, and we will leave it another week. So let me know what you think. Drop your comments below, like this video, subscribe if you'd like a little bit more content from me, and I'll be back with you guys real soon for an update.